Good morning students my name is Renu Yadav and today I'll teach you science lesson 11 part 1 cleanliness health and hygiene for class 3rd children cleanliness is very much important they say is that cleanliness is next to godliness a healthy mind always remain in a healthy body and a body can remain healthy only and only if it is clean. Now, I am going to tell you few measures by which you can have a clean body. And when your body will be clean, you will have a healthy mind. So, let us start. The first measure to keep body clean is to brush twice a day okay the first point is brush twice a day when you get up early in the morning and when you are going to sleep at night you should brush your teeth if you will follow this, then you will have no dental problems. Okay, so the first point is you should brush your teeth twice daily. When? First, when you are getting up early in the morning and then when you are going to sleep at night. You should brush your teeth. This is the first measure. Now, the second thing which you should keep in mind is that you must wash your hairs at least twice a week. See, a week contains seven days, right? Wash hairs twice a week. A week contains seven days and from those seven days you should wash your hairs Two, twice okay in a week you should wash wash your hairs twice now not only washing your hairs but you should wash the brushes and the combs which are you using for your hairs okay you should wash them too so the first point was brush teeth twice a day and the second point is wash hairs twice a week now moving to the third point the third point is our skin is the outer covering of our body. We need to keep it clean by taking a bath daily. I know it's winter, but you should take a bath daily. The third point is take a bath daily. Whether it is summer, winter, spring, autumn, any season. You should take bath daily. And taking bath does not mean that you are just pouring water over you. No, you should use soap also. When you will use soap, then all the dirt, the germs which are present on your skin will get removed. Okay, so you should take a bath daily using soap. Yes, you should use soap while you are bathing. Then, the fourth point is we should keep our eyes clean by washing them with water. Fourth point is wash eyes using water. My dear children, as soon as you get up early in the morning, you should wash your eyes. Okay? Wash your eyes, brush your teeth, take a bath and you are ready. Okay? So, wash your eyes with water. You should keep your eyes clean. Eyes are very important for us. Okay? Without eyes, we will not be able to see anything. So, you should wash your eyes regularly with water next point is clean ears using clean tongue 
novel. Children, we I have seen many people. You might also have seen that there are people who use different different objects to clean their ears. Like they use a matchstick. They use their keys of their cars or of their scooties or of their bike to clean their ears this is very dangerous you should never practice it and if you see someone doing that stop that person okay we should always clean our ears using a clean towel all right to clean your ears you should use a clean towel next is blow your nose Gently using a handkerchief. Six point is blow nose using handkerchief. Children, see now it is winter and one or the other person might be suffering from cold. And when we uh, suffer from cold, we used to blow our nose a lot okay we should not pick our nose but we should blow our nose and we should blow our nose gently by using a handkerchief okay we should always use a handkerchief to blow our nose next is seventh point is trim your nails weekly trim nails weekly children See, we should not have long, long nails. If you will have long nails, then when you will eat food, all the dirt which is present here in the nails, they will go into your stomach and then you will fall sick. And I know no one wants that. So, you should trim your nails weekly. They should be short. Okay? Then, next is... We should always wear clean clothes. Your, your clothes should be neat and clean and they should be ironed. They should be well ironed. Okay. Always wear neat and clean clothes so that you will be presentable as well. Okay. Wearing clean clothes. They used to give a good feel to others that this person is very healthy. Right. So we should always wear clean clothes. Then next is to uh, remain healthy, we should follow a balanced diet. Now children, what is balanced diet? Balanced diet means the diet should contain or the food which we eat should contain all the nutrients. Nutrients like carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, fiber, etc okay all these things should be there then only you can have a balanced diet instead of eating junk food like momos chilies burgers okay all these things are not healthy for us if we will eat junk food then also we will have several diseases so the food outside our house is not at all healthy you should only and only eat food which is cooked at your home by your mama okay we should have a balanced diet then with having good food we should also do exercise as much as having good food is important exercise is also important you should do exercise <clears throat> half an hour in a day at least do exercise half an hour in a day regularly and you will have a very good body exercise helps to build our muscles exercise help us to absorb things better exercise help us to grow okay to make our mind sharp all right so we should follow something like uh, we should do yoga or aerobics or zumba or cycling walking all these things are the form of exercise whichever you feel interesting you should do that exercise is very much important and with exercise rest is also important when we take rest 
our body used to recover okay so we should take rest also sleep for 8 hours in a day okay sleep for 7 to 8 hours in a day and this will help you to recover as much as exercise is important rest is also important okay our body needs rest we should sleep for 8 hours at night and when we sleep our body used to recover so children these were the few measures by which we can remain healthy let us see them again the first one is to brush teeth twice a day then the second one is wash hairs twice a week then we have to take bath daily wash eyes using water then the fifth point is clean ears using clean towel then blow nose using a handkerchief trim hairs weekly trim your nails weekly then wear clean clothes they should be ironed and they should be neat and clean then have a balanced diet you should always eat good food no junk food have a balanced diet you should exercise exercise at least for half an hour in a day and you should take rest sleep for eight hours at night now children i'm going to give you a revision worksheet here on the board you will write the question first and then you have to write the answers of it okay so take your copies I am writing the questions, okay? So, you also write the questions first and then you write the answers. Write revision worksheet 1. Okay? First question is <coughs> fill in the blanks. Children, here I'll be writing few sentences with blank. What you have to do is read the sentence and then whichever uh, word you feel will fill the blank you have to write that word in the blank okay so the first question is dash helps to build muscles this is your first question and your second question is A good way to exercise is dash. Now, second part is write true or false. Children, here I'll be writing few statements and if you feel that the statement is correct, you have to write true and if you feel it is wrong, then you have to write false. We should not wash our palms. Okay, this is the first sentence. If it is true, then write true. 
If it is false, then write false. And the second question is, we should pick our nose to clean it. Okay, these are the two sentences. If these sentences are true, then you have to write true. And if the sentence is false, you have to write false. Now, the third question is, answer the following. Here, I'll be writing few questions and you have to give answers of these questions. Okay, so the first question is, what are germs? Okay. Then, second question. Why should you not in the open okay children so uh, this is the worksheet which is given to you what you have to do first you have to write the question and with the question you have to write the answer okay with this i end up today's session thank you